Call it love at first sight, or infatuation, or simply admiration. My love affair with Portugal started when I saw something similar to this online. Like the very first time that I saw line, my better half. This sparked my curiosity to seek more and know more about this place, for I have never seen anything like this before. You see, Portugal has been under the radar of all my travels to Europe, like a humble and quiet sister who just wants to be behind the limelight of her big sisters, France, Spain and Italy. This lesser known country to me has heightened my desire to meet her in person. If you are new to this channel, I'm Lino and my wife is Line and we travel, eat, love and pray and we have fallen in love so many times with the places that we've been to and this is our latest. To make the story short, we landed in Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. Bom dia, Portugal! Welcome to Lisbon! And oh boy, this city did not disappoint me and my expectations were met. Everything here, wherever I look, up and all around, and to my surprise, even looking down is so beautiful. From the colorful building facade and the glazed blue ceramic tiles or azulejos that are on display even on benches and the many overlooks or viewpoint called Miraduro, the building architecture and its intricate tile work from its ceilings to floors, homes and hallways and the tree-lined boulevards, walking down the streets of Lisbon is a feast for the eyes. If I compare Lisbon to a lady, she is so beautiful and is well dressed and knows how to carry herself. Like that very first time that I met and spoke to my better half line, my heart was full of joy and excitement knowing that I finally met her in person. Salud. There is something else that I truly admire about Lisbon. It's like there are churches in every corner, which tells me that this place is in touch with something divine. Is this your fortress? Yes, this is my <laughs> fortress. Then we head to the south in the Algarve region. Algarve! Here we come! Made it to the bridge! 25th wow, so nice. April so Bridge. Nice. This is like the San Francisco Bridge. Wow. Portugal is so full of surprises. I never thought I would see palm trees and palm groves. And it's way warmer here compared to the northern part and the rest of Central Europe. Then the moment of truth. Meeting in person the place that caught my attention for the very first time online, the unique rock formation. I felt like a young kid again, full of energy, as I gazed with amazement and awe. <laughs> Fabio and Yuri and Yuri. Yuri. Oh wow, that's a nice sunrise. Oh my goodness. The Algarve is not just about the rugged coastline and beaches, but its various charming towns. I didn't want to leave the Algarve, but I needed to see more and know more about Portugal. 
and so we head back to Lisbon. So long, Azar. We'll see you next time. Then we took a day trip to this magical town called Centra. It's a picture perfect town. <laughs> and it seems like palaces are everywhere. Then there's the Pena Palace, which makes us feel like a royalty dressed casually. Then there's Quinta de Regalera with its whimsical gardens full of hidden tunnels. It is fascinating, confusing and delightful. Then we ventured towards northern Portugal. But unfortunately when we arrived Porto, it was raining. But this northern city exudes beauty even when it rains. The question is, when did I really fall in love with Portugal? Let me give you a clue. When I met Line, I was so infatuated with her beauty, but when I tasted the delicious food that she prepared and cooked, and also learning from her, her love for her family, respect for others, and her genuine hospitality, it was when my love for her grew deeper and deeper. Every place in Portugal that we have visited has its unique, delicious cuisine. So this one is hot, that one is cold. Oh. That's for the bread. <laughs> We're all having tea for the intoxication here. Okay. It's really good. It's so fresh. Me, how is it? It is very good, very muscular and soft and very flavorful. It has tons of garlic. So this is the place. We're gonna eat peri peri chicken. Peri peri. It's hot and spicy. It's tender and juicy. It's cooked to perfection. This reminds me of lechon in the Philippines. It's I like it. You like it? Okay. Cheers! Lisbon Street of something sweet and salty. The iconic pastry and the bacalao respectively. Algarve seafood galore and Miliada's moist, smoky, crispy lechon, known locally as Litao Asado, made me realize that Portugal can really cook and can satisfy not just my picky taste buds, but also a culinary admirer's taste. This sealed the deal. My love for Portugal grew deeper and deeper. Like any other country, just like humans, we all have our dark past. But Portugal did not dwell on its dark past. Instead, its people has learned from history. Portugal has also experienced calamities and adversities and has its share of economic and political crises. But its people has weathered their own storms and remained happy and humble, as evident by their warm hospitality which I truly admired and appreciated. If it's hard for you to get here, you gotta hire a very good tour guide. Uh, it's uh, Juan. What's the name of your company? Juan Santo. So hard to pronounce, but I'll put it on the bottom. He's the best tour guide. He takes us to different areas that are really good. That even Mark Waynes or Anthony Bourdain has come here, I believe. The diverse panoramic landscape, architecture, history, weather, gastronomy and the people are the reasons why I fall in love with this beautiful and amazing country, Portugal. Please watch our other videos of Lisbon, the Algarve, Centra and more coming up. If you want to know where we stay, dine and the must-see places that will help you plan for your next trip to Portugal, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next video will be released. Thank you for watching and have a very blessed day.